Greetings, Sim 1 students. Welcome to the first day of Computer Information Systems. This is a really fun class for me to teach, and I think it's a really valuable class for students to take. In my opinion, and I'm kind of biased, but in my opinion, there is no force that will affect the course of your lives greater than information technology. Information technology will affect how you network socially, who you meet, maybe even who you marry, who you work for, social status in life. Virtually every aspect of our lives today is influenced by information technology. And that's what we're going to be talking about this semester. In addition, we're also going to learn some very valuable hands-on skills because this course has a lab component. And hopefully those skills will put you in a good position to get a good job after you graduate. So on the first day, we're going to be talking about what Sim 1 is all about. We'll do that in class. However, there's a lot of tedious detail that we need to go over on the first day. And so I've put all of that detail on this video. So you can watch this video and then I can just gloss over stuff when we're together in class. So in class, we'll talk about what is Sim 1 all about. However, right now I want you to become familiar with the class website because that's where we put all of the information that you will be using throughout the semester. Projects, assignments, and so on. So let's move on to the class website. To get to the class website, pull up your browser and type in www a-L-I-G-R-A dot com and that will bring you to my personal website. Scroll down to click here for class website and click on that link and that will transfer you to something that's called an FTP website. Now you should be aware that there may be some delay particularly the first time that you click on that link because your browser will have to uh, navigate to that particular IP address. But after five to ten seconds, you'll pull up a screen. It may look different on different browsers, but the screen will say ftp.allegra.com and you'll see a number of folders. Click on the folder for Saddleback College and you'll see all of the various semesters at Saddleback College for which I have class material available. Click on the semester for your Sim 1 class. You'll notice that there is a Sim 1 folder. Click on that Sim 1 folder and you'll see a number of other folders and what I'm going to do at this point in time is tell you what's in all of these folders and what you need to do with a very special folder called week 01. So starting at the top of this list there's a folder entitled Access 2013 Handouts. So if you click on that folder you will see six PDF files and they're PowerPoint charts for lectures related to Microsoft Access. You can print those out if you want. To be really honest, I've given you that material for reference purposes, but your textbook is adequate. So keep that for reference. Then you'll notice a folder called Access Resources. Click on Access Resources and you will see some material that will be used for some of your Microsoft Access projects later on in the semester. So you don't need to pay any attention to that right now, but be aware that there are Access Resources on the class website. And then there are book chapters. Some of you will be ordering books on the first day of class or thereabouts. There may be some delay in you receiving the materials. So I've made arrangements with the publishers to have PDF copies of chapter one, chapter nine, 
of your Discovering Computers book and the entire Windows 7 book available for you to use before you receive your uh, hard copy books uh, shipped to you. So these two chapters of the Discovering Computers book are what you will need for the first couple of weeks of class. And this Windows 7 book is for reference purposes because we're still using Windows 7 in the lab. So book chapters, important folder, gives you access to the uh, book chapters that you will need for the first couple of weeks of school. I'll also tell you how to be ordering your books in a few minutes. Discovering Computers Handouts. These are the PowerPoint charts for the Discovering Computers book lectures that I will be presenting in class. Some students don't need to use these. They just use their book as reference. Other students will print these out, bring them to class, and make notes on them so that they'll have them available to study. So, Discovering Computers Handouts, probably want to look at that early on in the semester. Excel 2013 Handouts. Like the Access 2013 Handouts, these are PowerPoint charts for lectures related to Microsoft Excel. Most students just simply use their book, but you have Excel 2013 Handouts available for reference. There's a project file that you'll need for one of your Excel projects that's in the folder called Excel 6. Don't worry about that right now. However, the most important thing you need to do before the first day of class is click on the Week 01 folder. You will notice in this folder that there are nine PDF files. You need to print one copy of each of those documents and have those available for the first day of class. So most importantly, before coming to class on the first day, print these nine PDF files and have those hard copies available in class on the first day of class. And I'll be discussing each of those documents separately coming up in just a few minutes. So that's it. This is the class website that you will be using for this semester. Now let me tell you, not all of you have used an FTP, stands for File Transfer Protocol, website. You typically, you can navigate to this website as I've shown you by going to www.allegra Dot com, or you can simply bookmark ftp.allegra.com slash saddleback slash the year and semester of your class. Your browser will navigate you to the FTP website. If you're using a, a Macintosh computer and you're using Apple Safari browser, it may prompt you for a username and a password. It shouldn't have to do that because this is a public open website. Anyone can navigate to this website. If it does, type in username user, lowercase u-s-e-r, and type password, lowercase anonymous. However, I suggest that you install something like Firefox on your Macintosh or your MacBook computer. PC computers, any browser that you use should be able to navigate you to this website without any difficulty. So that's it for the class website. Well now that you can navigate to the class website and you've printed out those nine PDF documents, let's talk a little bit about what each of those documents are all about, some of which are kind of important and some of which relate to assignments that you need to be doing. So let's look at forms, paperwork, and other stuff. 
First of all, there is the course syllabus. There is no document that is more important for any class than your course syllabus. So I want to switch right now to the class syllabus and walk through it page by page in a little more detail than I have the time to do in class. Remember that the syllabus is our contract for this class. Reading this is really important so that you understand how your final grade is going to be computed.